What's good, everyone? Welcome back to The Walking Dead, Season 1, Episode 2, Starred for Help. Alright, let's see. Nah, I just talked to her already. Tools, tools, what we got popping off in here? Let's just take some shit. Just That's what we do. For a second. But borrow, he means steal, cause he black. Like Chris Tucker said, he gonna borrow it so long that you gonna have to ask to borrow it back. Hold on, what was that? Go back. Gazebo. You really gotta walk to look at it. Now when you talk to yourself, they're gonna be like, who are you talking Wait, to? Doesn't offer much in the way of protection though. What's good? Hey, so what happened at the camp? Did you guys find any more of those guys that hurt Mark? I saw some ch I'm I killed someone. We found Let's a tent. Some tent. Nothing really useful. Seriously? No food? Jesus. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. But you told him to mind his own goddamn business, right? We are guests here. We don't Mary, need to be you overstaying don't shut our welcome up, more than we bro. already are. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting That's to think I'm your saying. friend over there has another agenda. Alright, I'm trying to get a better position. Going on here. What makes you say that? What exactly happened at the camp? Uh, it's nothing. Yeah, don't worry about it. Paranoia just getting to me a little bit. I know what you mean. These backwoods people always give me the creeps. If you ask me, we should just get our dinner and leave. Come on now. We don't want to be rude. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Silence. Now look at this. You saw how it was light out there, right? Mm-hmm. Why it's nighttime when you go out there? That's why I never understood about this episode. It's pitch ass blackout in here. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. Was this supposed to be sound and it didn't happen? It's okay, or? go ahead. Whoa. Katya says Mabel could have a baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh, Clementine's the best. What's good, Andy? Hey there, Andy. Yep. Yep. How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. Um, when do you think uh we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. You're not eating, Doug. You're going to starve. Words. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. Thanks. Yep. You know what's weird is when we look all throughout this this barn and then they say something like, Why are you looking through here, blah blah blah? I wanna play and in our Shut your Let's ass up, your bro. For now. That's what I'm saying. Shut up. Get okay. away from me. But yeah, as I was saying before I was interrupted by that little monster, that baby xenomorph looking thing. Um 
we're looking out through ho the whole barn and then they say what are you doing and then in our minds we're like wow they're acting a little suspicious but in reality imagine someone coming into your house they're a guest then they got, start looking through all your cabinets and your your fridge and your rooms and stuff you're just like what are you doing There's some on this side. Looks like a bunch of old dirty clothes. Ooh, smells pretty foul. I never looked in there. And the people who I watched play this never looked in there either. Or if they did, I just don't remember. I remember everyone looking in the first side. But never on this side. Just some fence posts. found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. What if I just said she's actually not my family? Got you. What's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal on those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Hey, Lee. You know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? Well, He only said no once. Why did I say no twice? And... Oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Hmm. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find That's something? really thought of... I really thought he was Danny when I was walking up him earlier. Just checking out the barn here. Never been to a dairy farm before. Just don't roam around without me or Danny. The farm can be a dangerous place. I thought it was it's safe. The bandits and all. Sorry about your friend. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Hey, guys, seriously, don't fuck around with that. Come on, enough already. We haven't talked to Clementine in a while. Oh. Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it. You said you would. Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor in who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? I'd like to someday. Maybe a little girl like you. That's nice. You'd be a good daddy. Well, Clementine's the only reason why I would want welcome, a daughter. Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. I don't want a daughter, but if I had a daughter, I hope she'd be just like Clementine. How do you like Clementine's that cow, daughter Clem? goes. 
She's pretty. Alright, you see how it's dark out there? Right? Like, it's so dark you can't even see Lee's face. Now, wh where did the light come from? They're serious. <laughs> so, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, I manage just fine. Plus, I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. Alright, I forgot how to distract them. I think it's at dinner, to be honest. To be honest, I think it's at dinner. So let me go talk to what's her face. Oh, maybe turn the generator off. I think that's what it was. I remember turning this off once. Power switch. You don't say. I guess I'm gonna need a screwdriver for this. There you go. What if I just walked up to him, I took the belt, bitch, and just walked off? <laughs> See, it's dark. I don't understand. Picked up something I think could help with the lock. Nothing to stop you now. How about you do it? Mom, Dad, dinner time! It's dinner time! Okay, Shut honey, your let's mouth. Get that. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, Does anyone on, like Duck? Well, obviously people have to like Duck because in the last gameplay, Get it was split on who they saved. Hate that little bitch. Bro, I gotta go through every single one. You're serious. He ain't he just dropping them on the ground. What if they made you pick it up? They just disrespect you like that, like, oh, Lee's gonna drop him, so pick it up. What the hell you got in that back room? Look, we have food here, but Danny and I still gotta do a lot of hunting to keep everyone fed. When we catch something in the woods, we skin it and dress it back there. Mama doesn't like us to make a mess in the house. So you see, nothing to worry about. When they say nothing to worry about, then there's something to worry about. He just walks away, he's all happy and content, like, yeah, it's okay. Excuse me, mess. We had to block the back door after Walker got upstairs. Don't worry. That was a while ago and ain't been back inside since. Everybody sit down. I'll go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I could eat a horse. 
Where's Ma? Now don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all. Use a hey. shave. Nah, get that lotion. You know, you know what to do. Those pads. I thought we were supposed to turn the water on and then go upstairs, but whatever. Oh shit. They make you do it. I thought the object of the game was a little to let them play. And then you just watch them play, you know? Oh, that would be a movie, I guess. <coughs> Excuse me. Musty as hell. Damn. I guess someone needed some first aid recently. How about Mark? Smart. Do they need so much morphine for? Ugh. What is this stuff? Looks like a bunch of medical waste in here. IV tubes, saline. What would dairy farmers need with this kind of stuff? Feels like there's a storm coming. Is that blood? Farm books, cookbooks, nothing out of the ordinary here. Well, except for the light under the door, but you know, other than that, it's perfectly fine. down Lee this lady has made you a meal yeah Lee what's gotten into you he just had to start he could use some goddamn manners it didn't have to be this way you're eating human meat that's crazy what the hell? Hell? I'm scaring the kids Lee Lee what the hell is wrong with you don't indulge him Lily it's always something with this guy Mom, I was eating that. What is going on? Go upstairs and look. You'll find a guy with both of his legs hacked off. This is a dairy, not a ranch. Think about it. It's true. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We gotta think about living. From a little arrow? Now. 
Honestly. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boss. Bro. Now you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but Sounds eat just people. like him. <laughs> I was talking about Daniel early. Sounds just like him. We think we can put that meat to better use. You're all sick. Sick in the head. Lee, that's not a very nice thing to imply. Imply? Okay. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. Like y'all. Lily, grab a knife! Nobody's going anywhere! We got lots of use for y'all right here. Are you gonna grab a knife to run away? What? Put your guns down! We're walking out of here! I don't wanna die. Mommy, what did I eat? Everyone, everything will be okay! Lee? Lee? I'll kill you! The reason I told Lily to get her knife is because last time I. Oh, shit. You can't keep us in here! <coughs> Open up! I will tear you fuckers apart! Yeah, because, um. Last time I said, can you get the gun? So I wanted to see the different choice. Open this door, goddammit! I will knock the goddamn door down! Stop. It was a person. They tried to make us eat a person. But you didn't do it. No. The rest of us did, goddammit! If you hadn't dragged your feet- Come on, Dad. Now's not the time. You okay, Clementine? They, they didn't hurt you, did they? Mm -mm. Open up! Lee, those psychos have my family, and we're stuck in a damn meat locker! We gotta get the fuck out of here! This goddamn thumbsucker was the one who brought us here! Will you all just shut the fuck up? I'm scared. Don't be. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. Oh. Damn. Damn. I'm trying to think. Hold up. Was there any other? In this episode, was one of the hardest choices I had to make. Find a way out of here. Can I help? Sure, honey. You keep your eyes open for exposed screws or loose panels. Anything we can pry away to open a passage out of here. Okay. There's more of us on the way. Let us out now. Do you want to live? Could there be a hole help. behind these pallets? No such luck. They're not going to open the door. You, you think a fucking apocalypse hmm. gives you the right to chop? I'll, I'll break that damn door down. Dad, you can't get... Uh, uh, <laughs> Easy. Dad? No. Dad, come on. Dad! Oh, God. He stopped breathing. I think he's had a heart attack. Shit. Is he dead? He's not dead. Somebody help me. Fuck. If he's dead... He's not dead. What has to happen, Lee? Think about it. You saw that poor bastard at the motel? How fast he turned? What are you saying? Lily, I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. But in a few minutes, we're gonna be stuck in a locked room with a six foot four, 300 pound, seriously pissed off dead guy. Fuck you! We can bring him back! Lee! Good morning later. This is right the hardest choice ever in the making this game. No. I don't know about season God two, I don't remember. But I think season dead. one. Lily. We can't kill him if he's not dead, Kenny. Remember how hard it was for you to get that monster off of Katya? And Larry's twice his size. It's him or us. 
Look, Kenny, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten. I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. But come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it. Remember what Ben said. Gotta destroy the brain. Come on, Lee. You can't be in the middle on this one. You gotta have my back this time. God damn it, Lee. I need you! Please help me! Come on, Dad. Oh my god. Ah, uh, this was the hardest decision. <laughs> huh, I think I did both for it. Actually, yeah, I played this twice. I played like a dickly and then a how I normally play. Oh my god. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Come on. Wake up. Wake up. Lee! Is he breathing at all? No. No, I don't think so. Okay, let me take over. Keep checking his pulse. Are you stupid? He's gonna what? turn! You're putting all of us at risk, Three, you son of a bitch! Four, You're fucking worthless. Five. What? Okay. No! What episode is that? Episode four? Wait to that, bro. What the fuck? I'm so sorry. I just... It had to be done. You don't know that! Yes, I do, Lee. And so do you. I was counting on you, man. You call me worthless, bro. Alright, cool. I know. Don't you fucking touch me! <laughs> Dang. Seeing Clementine cry. Where's my okay. heart, man? Is it over? Too much salt will kill you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm asleep. Yes, for now. But we still need to find a way out of here. I know. I know. In real life, I probably would have helped. Right and then after that, if it wasn't, you know, Think about something if there's no way to do it, hopeful. then I would have, you know, killed like him. Like what? How about your walk? Those pretend talks with your mom and dad, don't those make you feel better? Sometimes. We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? I'm working on it. What's good, bro? I don't want to hear it, Lee. You think I like doing what I did? I'm the guy who couldn't bear to watch the family dog get put down. But if we want to survive this shit, we've got to have the balls to do the hard thing. Or at least one of us has got to. gonna survive this shit we got to work together how do you expect Lily to work with us after what she just saw you do if she wants to live she'll work with us if she doesn't then the hell with her you talk a big game but could you do the hard thing if it was Katja or Duck it's never gonna come to that not if I have anything to do with it for all we mm. know the St. Okay. John's might have no they, they need Katja remember she's the whole reason they brought us here and no doubt they're using Duck as a bargaining chip. I hope you're right. I know I'm right. I just gotta get to him. That's all. What now? What? You don't want to hang me up on a meat hook and leave me to rot? What I want isn't important. What I know is there's safety in numbers. You got any ideas? The air conditioner. Yeah, I feel like Kenny will be all right. But, like, if I would have helped kill her dad, she would have been pissed for life. He was still this one, alive, she really Lee. got cool. He was still alive. Jenny, you made a bad call. It was premature for sure, but he was trying to keep us safe. Bullshit. He cares about keeping his family safe. He doesn't give a shit about you and he me. He puts his family first, sure. Just like Larry did. Please, I need to be alone. God knows you deserve time to grieve, Lily. I know it was necessary, but I just wish Clem didn't have to witness shit like this. I worry what it's gonna do to her. She'll be all right. 
There ought to be an air duct behind this unit. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off if I had something to remove the screws. The multi-tool. Of course they took it. Shit. Maybe there's something else we could use. I've got a rock. Ah, uh, a rock won't help. A coin might do the trick. Do you have a coin? Mm -mm. I know who does though. to be alone. God knows you deserve time to grieve, Lily. But, but if we're gonna get out of here, yeah. We need your help. And Larry's. I think I may have found a way out of here. But I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver, a coin or something. No. What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it, but uh, back at the motor end, Larry. Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Your yeah. permission. Do what you have to do. Appreciate that. I was gonna do it regardless. Oh uh, any idea which pocket he keeps his change in? Um, let's see, what do I keep my change move pocket? Probably I don't know, maybe the right. Here we go. Two quarters and a dime. Penny and dime. Just gotta remove these screws and get this Hashtag off. Punisher. One batch, two pat. Ugh, one batch, two batch. Penny and dime? I'm asleep. Nickel and no penny and dime, I think. Hurry the fuck up, Lee. We don't have all day here. If you wanna shut your ass up, bro. You really about to get your ass beat, to be honest. Well, there's our way out, Lee. Probably lead right into that back room. It's too small for us to fit through. I can do it. You uh, think you can do this? I'm scared. It's okay to be scared. We need you, Clementine. <sighs> okay. You're gonna be fine. What do I do when I get out? See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it. have a nine-year-old take care of a grown woman uh, I'm dead wow I wanted to sneeze and it turned into a yawn can they really act as stupid bruh 
they hanging? Bro. I told you there was something up with this room. It's a goddamn human slaughterhouse. I see. Do I want the 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 oh sickle? I was about to say uh hold on. I was about to say scythe. You know the thing Grim Reaper has. I think I want the sickle. Isn't there one more weapon? God, what's wrong with these people? Bro, you got like infinite pockets. You don't shove all of them this in your is, pockets, bro. This is where you put your people. Sick bastards. All of them. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna stay with the sickle, fam. Outside the barn. Oh shit! Just guarding the place, like you said. Mm. Sitting out in the rain up damn here. Mama says we can't keep that many folks alive and not expect trouble. Take one to keep and kill the rest. And I pick which one to keep alive. Not the kids. Enough meat on the tray. Oh. Ah. Oh, I know, Mother. This is Take not the same thing. And I let one think they can just walk right out. <laughs> they never even look down. We'll take him out together. How? He doesn't know we're out. He's gonna walk past us to get to the meat locker. We can take him out when his back is to us. See what he's doing now. I'll be looking. Tell me what's going on. I don't see him anymore. Where the fuck did he go? I don't know. Yeah, he didn't go past us. See where he is at. Appreciate you, Lily. Save your trash ass family. You see, you understand now, don't you? You can have me. It's how the world works now. Give part of yourself so others can live. I should fucking kill you right now. Mark never volunteered to be food! You gotta keep me alive! If you kill me, the meat gets tainted! You can't eat it! You're already tainted! Do it then! Ooh. I know you can! First time this I kill him. That's how the world works now! You won't make me kill you! I want him to suffer with the bear trap on his foot. Plus, I know Clementine's gonna see. Go. I'll cover you. Just That's really smart, though. Right back. That's really interesting, too. What they did. They had you... They had you, um... With Clementine, so, you know... You do this... Because if I wasn't with Clementine, bro, I probably would have killed him as well. But they'll have you make choices, you know, because... Oh! 
I don't want Clementine to think this and that. Chopped off Mark's legs and tried to feed them to us. Shit. Is everyone else okay? They've still got Doc and Katja in the house, and I don't know where the fuck Kenny is. All right, we're coming in to help. The main gate is too dangerous. Go around the fence and see if there's a back way in. I'll keep looking for Kenny. Do you have a weapon? I don't leave home without it. Ben, stick close. And Lee, be careful. I got some Lisa got some coins you see right there got some coins I left Danny in the bar he got what he deserved good be frightened I really don't care about her, but it's gonna make me fail. Go, Brenda. If she dies. Please, please don't you take another step. Brenda, come on now. You know you don't want to do this. Then go away and leave us be. Oh, she kills me. <laughs> I'm dead. Literally. Stop right there, I mean it. Think about wow, what you do. they switched it, it up. I was about to press off. Like I'll kill her, Lee. Just let me I don't go. care. She, I mean, she's the coolest one of that family now. But. Like, don't make me fail the game. Please don't make this any worse. Just stop. I think this is the only time Lee didn't get his ass whooped. He's a homie, but he's still getting his ass whooped, bro. Wait, was that Lee or Rick? I think it was, I think it was both of them.
Bro, we took the whip. I mean, it was a duel. We're doing baby ass punches. I like how everyone's just watching me. Everyone's capable. Carly has a gun. Shoot this man again. That reflection, you know, is good. Um. I mean, he already trashed now. Leave him in the rain. Get back here and fight me like a man, Lee. Lee! Oh, I think it was kick him into the fence. Yep, and the old generator's going out. Yeah, he definitely gonna die. Let's go. He's gonna die slower death. This is getting real long. It's almost at 50 minutes. And I can't just cut it because, you know, there's only like 10 minutes in this episode. I mean, less than 10 minutes. Probably like 5 minutes in this episode left. Hey, Lee. If that. I'd say I'm sorry for leaving the motel unattended. But, you know. I'm glad you showed up when you did. If you hadn't taken that shot at Andy, we might not have gotten out of there. Were they really killing people? For food? Yep. Yeah, they were. That is sick. God, just. I already oh. said that. Clementine, she doesn't know, right? She's not stupid, Carly. Oh. Katya managed to grab this while she was in the house. She said it was with your stuff. Yeah, I found it while I was looking for the people who shot Mark. Do you want it? Why don't you keep it? Sometimes it helps to have something you can document your thoughts on. <sighs> How are you doing? I'll be fine. I'm just not as young as I used to be. Hun, go on ahead and give me and Lee a second. There's gonna be fallout. For killing Lily's dad? Yeah, I would imagine so. What do you think? You destroyed this group, you murdered Larry. 
Dang, everyone's hero, you destroyed two lives in that meat locker. Kenny, All of them were disrespectful. Fuck. What the hell are we gonna do now? Alright. Okay, cool. Cool. Lee will remember that. Come on, Clementine. Stay close. Lee, are those bad people dead? Yes, Walker's probably got him. They were very bad people, and they were punished for it. Okay. Hey, Dad, what's that noise? Doc, please shut up. Sounds Do you hear like anything? Car. Whisper it to Kenny, then he'll say it out loud. Shoot. I like how it says slowly and this is like the fastest you go like there's no like oh you could possibly mess this up figures oh crap baby you gotta see this a shitload of food and supplies back here. This food could save all of us. Not all of us. Oh. <sighs> Look, we don't know if these people are dead. If they come back, then we're just monsters who came out of the woods and ruined their lives. This stuff isn't ours. Dad, whose car is it? Don't worry about that, Duck. It's ours now. It's abandoned, Ducky. Don't worry. What if it's not? Well, what if it's not abandoned? What if it is someone's? We have to take this, Clementine. We need it to survive. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but it's not about right and wrong anymore. It's about survival. I'm not killing anyone, so we straight. What was that? He just stood in front of her for like a good 10 seconds. Just like, you're beneath me. Great. Maybe we'll survive this after all. Duck, why don't you carry this? Okay. Supplies? I'll pick it. More food in here. Why are you shaking your head? Got a box you want to starve? Here. I'll carry it. You better do something. You trash. This hoodie looks to be about your size. Why don't you hold on to this? It might get cold. It's not mine. We're not like the bandits, honey. We didn't hurt anybody to get this. Understand? I guess so. That's what you gotta do, you know? You can't just pass this up. Hey. There were like some if batteries someone... in one of those boxes. I thought they might work in your camcorder. Here, you can have some too. For your walkie-talkie. Batteries, huh? Think you can handle those? You're not gonna let me live that down, are you? Yeah, it was pretty trash. First you didn't know that there's no batteries, oh, then you... God. Um... Lee, you're gonna wanna see this. You're gonna wanna look, take a look at this cliche and I was playing. <laughs> Same oh, <sense. shit. laughs>
Is that all you do is sit there, Carly? In that one chair, just chilling. They were not that far. They don't even look that far. That she should have heard that screaming. I don't know. Can you help me find it? There's no way, bro. They got lavalier mics on. It's a prank, bro. It's a prank. Back up from the camera. This place is done. It's time to move on. Screw it. Not like you ever listen to a damn word I say. Shut your mouth, is this Penny. this all you got? I told you this town is tapped. Do you have any idea what we had to do to get all that? We need to leave. Duck was asking about the farm last night. Not much faces. It's starting to add up. I need to get to the coast. Get him out of all this madness. <laughs> Lily's not doing so good, huh? You murdered her dad. I did what I had to, and you know it. Maybe people out there got things lined up better. Better than us, at least. Could be folks who have all this shit figured out. Do people get mad They go, my niggas know me to Krista. Sometimes, yeah, they do. This is crazy. I'm the one keeping this group going. We can sort this all out, all right? We can sort this out. I'll tell you what we need to sort out. We can't let one person fuck this up for everyone else. <laughs> Cool, cool. Let's see what the choice is looking like. All right, chopped off his legs. How? How, Sway? Um, you and 39%. I, I guess I can understand people, me being a minority. Helped Larry. Uh, wait, help Larry. Help Larry with what? With the killing? Oh, help kill Larry, I was about to say. Because it didn't help and then help Larry. I was like, what? So you and 50% didn't uh, help kill Larry. You and 61% didn't kill both brothers. Stole food. I mean, you got to steal the food. Killing the brothers. Maybe. Uh, I, I should have killed um. Um, what's his face? The one who's in a barn. If anything. But after, at the end of that, you can tell that they're going to die regardless. But yeah, that's it for this episode. Um, Stay tuned until the next episode. Make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Peace.